What's going on folks? Welcome back in Stu's Garage. Today what we're going to be focusing on is a battery relocation. As you can see behind me, my battery is in a pretty haggard location right now. Um, if you watched my last video, you see we had a few issues. But we're trying to secure the battery because um, it, my battery tray is about to fall off. And, uh, we're just going to address that today by completely ripping that out. Uh, we're going to relocate the battery to the rear. And um, I'm going to focus on a couple of other wiring issues that we had. Uh, but the primary focus of this video is going to be the battery relocation. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started with that by pulling out my interior. If you plan on doing the same thing to your car, it's not necessary to pull the interior out. But like I said, there's a couple of other wires that I want to trace down and clean a few things up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull my seats out. Jazzy, what are you doing? All right, so anyways, um, we've got the battery out from where it was. Um, the whole interior is pulled apart right now. Again, like I said, you don't have to do it to this depth, um, but I have a lot of wiring that I need to redo. And uh, last thing I'm gonna do before we start working on the relocation is to pull out the battery tray. Um, and there's only two bolts right here up against the side of the fender. The battery tray will come out. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do in this relocation is go ahead and pull my ground wire. And this ground wire grounds directly to the motor. And so if you just pull your wire, you untangle it, and you follow it down, you're going to see. Okay, you can barely see, but if you look straight down, it's right next to uh, your oil pressure switch and your oil filter. And that just bolts on. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect grounding the motor. I know the motor has other ground straps on it. Um, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, rather than unbolt this grounding strap from the motor, I'm just going to cut this ground strap and I'm going to ground one end of this that was already uh, grounded. I'm going to ground this to the chassis and then I'm going to reuse this ground strap in the back and I'm actually going to take this and ground this to my cage. Um, those of you that don't have a cage, just find a solid chassis location and ground that and this will be my uh, negative terminal. Okay, so basically um, the ground wire coming from the motor, I measured it. What I'm gonna do is drill a hole in the frame right here and I'm gonna mount that to the frame. And so I'm leaving myself enough wire, so I'm just gonna cut this wire here. That way I can reuse my uh, terminal on the inside when I mount the battery on the inside. All right, so just like I said I was going to do, um, I just drilled a hole right here in the frame rail. I ran the ground from the motor to the frame rail. That's bolted in. Make sure anywhere you ground anything, make sure you strip the metal down so that it's bare metal touching bare metal. Uh, now, if we come around to the inside of the car, it's a little bit dark, but I've got the ground wire with the terminal on it attached to my roll cage. Um, for those of you that don't have a cage with bolts in it, um, you can use the seat belt mount that's back there. I just didn't want to use that one because it didn't look as nice as this one. So once again, bare metal touching bare metal. And now it's time to start moving the other wires. So what I've got here is just um, a long power wire. This is a zero gauge wire going straight from here to the positive terminal on the battery. And it's connected here to where the positive terminal of the battery used to be. So if you come through the car, it's coming from uh, the driver's footwell. It runs along the carpet here on the inside because I pulled all the carpet up and it pops out right here and that's going to connect to the positive terminal on the battery which is going to mount uh, further back. And um, what I did is, and the way it's actually going to mount is, you can buy terminals at the store but I just I'm just going to reuse the terminal that I already had and uh, hook that to the battery and the cable. Okay, and one other thing before I forget, um, since the positive terminal is exposed, I have this thing in a pretty secure location. Um, I do need to secure that down a little bit better so that it doesn't move around, but I'm also going to cap this so that this can't come in contact with anything because if this touches anything inside the engine bay, it's going to short out and you don't want that happening. So anywhere where you have red, um, I went ahead and put red tape on here to show that this is my power wire. You don't want that coming in contact with anything at all. 
Okay, now we've got our power and ground wires run and spliced into the inside. Uh, we've got our ground terminal, which we recycled from the front. We've got our power terminal, which we recycled from the front. Uh, next up, in order to make a nice battery tie down, I'm currently in the process of making a bracket to hold the battery in place. So once I get done bending that up, you'll see me mount that inside the car. All right, sorry for the weird coloration. I just figured out how to get that fixed. But anyways, uh, the battery location is just about done. Um, all we have to do now is uh, pretty much reconnect the power wire and we'll probably see a little bit of sparks here. Yep, there you go. So the power wire is connected. Um, tighten those down and give the car a test fire. Okay, I went ahead and threw the back seat in just because I wanted to see how it would look. And I just wanted to remind you guys one last time, uh, you really don't want any exposed hot wires out. So I've got this one covered up. Uh, I'm going to make a better cover later on. Um, this is just a little bit of a crude install at the moment. The battery is completely secured down. I couldn't take this thing out of here right now if I wanted to without unbolting the thing. And uh, the hot wire up front under the hood is also covered. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, power this thing on right now. We got lights. And we got a successful fire. So folks, that concludes today's episode. We've got the battery successfully relocated. Um, now I just gotta throw my interior back in and finish up the little odds and ends that I was working on. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching folks. Hope you enjoyed and catch you guys next time.